Hello everybody. Um, I will be your teacher for today. My name is Arnold Inigo from the Science and Mathematics Department of the College of Education, Math and Sciences. I am assigned to discuss to you guys problem solving as one of the topics in your course, Mathematics in the Modern World, this third term. This third term. Um, problem solving is very important. We cannot stress this uh, enough to you students, uh, not only because it will enhance and develop a lot of skills uh, in you, like your analytical thinking skills, like your creativity, but more so because um, nowadays a lot of employers look for, uh, for this skill in you guys. And uh, we also wish to address um, this concern that in 2018 we are ranked among the lowest in uh, in mathematics and also reading and science and as you know uh, to be able to solve problems you need your uh, reading comprehension skills as well as your mathematical uh, thinking skills so today aside from those uh, uh, those things uh, that I mentioned, uh, we have the following outcomes for you. Uh, today, you're expect, uh, we expect to discuss the four steps uh, in problem solving provided by Polya, proposed by Polya. We're going to be solving a lot of problems. Please don't be scared since uh, we will be here for you to help you. And number three, you'll be able to organize your methods and approaches for solving problems. So just a bit of a background about problem solving. Ancient mathematicians before like Euclid and Papus are very interested in problem solving. No? And uh, more than problem solving itself, more than the problems that they like to solve, they're also interested in the study of the methods and the rules of the discovery and the, invent and the invention that comes from, you know, uh, discovering the solution to uh, a certain problem. And in uh, the 19th century, uh, in the 20th century, rather, um, a Hungarian mathematician went to the States and proposed uh, four steps in solving problems, which hopefully you'll be able to use later uh, when we discuss uh, some problems. They are the following. Um, understanding the problem, devising a plan, carrying out the plan, and reviewing the solution. We are faced a lot uh, with problems. Like right now, uh, we're affected by this uh, COVID. And so your faculty from NU uh, understand this problem, no? And we need to address delivering our materi material to you. And so our plan is to, you know, to to give uh, online lectures such as this one. And uh, we're carrying out the plan, uh, giving you guys uh, this uh, lecture. And um, later on, uh, at the end of all this, we are going to try to figure out whether the plan uh, uh, worked, no? whether uh, these online lectures, online classes really help you guys uh, uh, in... Uh, in still understanding uh, the concepts uh, in mathematics in the modern world. So please do not hesitate to uh, give us your comments and re your reviews about these online classes that we, we are going to give you. So much like this uh, COVID-19, uh, which is a, a timely problem that we have right now, um, these are four steps are going to be useful when we discuss uh, problems uh, in mathematics. So just to give uh, an overview of what understanding the problem is about, um, these are some of the questions that you should ask. No? If you have um, an answer to the following problem, then most likely you're one step in understanding uh, the problem that you, you are going to face or that you're facing. So um, can you restate the problem in your own words? Uh, are there informations that are not needed in the problem? And can you determine what is known about these type of problems? And do you know the goal? Do you know what 
what you're supposed to be doing in 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 this problem and um are there missing information that and you know if if you know it you'll be able to solve uh the problem so these five questions can uh, help you uh understand the problem well uh, which is uh going to be important in in finding the solution of problems that you're going to face uh, in this class um, in order to to answer the, the problems that I, I mentioned earlier or the questions that I mentioned earlier um, we need to to make a plan and and uh, some of these on your on the right part of the slide here are some of the ways uh, that we can, you know, devise that plan to find the solution to the problem. Making a list of known information is very important. Making a list of information that you need is also very important. Uh, drawing a diagram is a good way to to solve a problem, and we uh, we prepared uh, some questions. Uh, that can be solved using diagram. Making an organized list also allows you to solve some problems. Making a table or a chart, working backwards, trying to solve a similar but simpler problem. Sometimes we, we look into uh, the problem and we see that you know the, the questions are too uh, difficult because the questions are complicated. Sometimes it's better to uh, to try to find a much simpler problem, try to restate the, the context of the problem into a much understandable scenario. And that way, maybe you will be able to uh, figure out how you're going to proceed uh, in solving uh, the problem. Looking for a pattern, writing an equation, performing an experiment, just like uh, how you did uh, when we discussed uh, inductive reasoning. Um, doing an experiment is also uh, a good way of solving problems, not only in math, but also in science. Guessing a solution is another skill that is, you know, very important uh, in mathematics. And some of these things we are going to discuss uh, in this class. Um, once you have uh, understood the problem and you, you have a plan, you should. You should carry out that plan, you know. Um, just work carefully. Um, when you decide to make a list or a record, just make it uh, keep an accurate and neat record of all your attempts. And then you should realize that some of your plans uh, may fail. And when that happens, you should try to, to go back to step two and think of another solution or another plan. And uh, don't, don't give up, you know. Problem solving teaches us to be... To be um, uh, what's this? What's this? Um, uh, and your core values that we have that uh, that that tells us to to not give up. Resilience, right? It's resilience, right? So um, when you are exposed in problem solving, you're always a resilient person. And in in these times, in these trying times, uh, when 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 COVID is around us, uh, we Filipinos need to become uh, resilient. And finally, when you when you understood the problem, you prepared your your plan, and you were able to carry out your plan. Your plan. Check if you know um, your, the plan work. If everything uh, answers the problem, you know, and try to figure out uh, uh, these three things. Ensure that your solution is consistent with the facts of the problem. Are you really answering the the problem? Um, maybe maybe. Uh, uh, the problem is asking for what is x, but uh, what is what is two x, but you're solving for x or something like that. Uh, uh, so it's always very important to review your solution and in interpret the solution in the context of the problem. Did you get did you get um did you get uh two point five apples in in the context of the problem? That's not really uh, the right answer is it so um, always go back to the, the problem and check if your uh, answer uh, match the situation of the problem and always ask yourself later on uh, some generalizations can can these type of solution or plan that you prepared will be able to work in the future so it's very important to keep in mind uh, uh, Keep in mind some of your successful and your failures, your success and failures in solving problems because this will make you a better problem uh, solver.